Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Proffer. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon in Amarillo, Texas. I'm a member of the American Society of Plastic Surgeons and the American Society of Aesthetic Plastic Surgery. And today, we're gonna have a little bit of an interactive discussion about breast implants and breast augmentation to hopefully answer a lot of your questions and clarify a lot of the information that's out there. So I've heard though that there are a lot of problems or illnesses associated with silicone breast implants. Is that true? I think that's a really common misconception as well. Uh, silicone implants are now one of the most uh, studied devices in the history of our medical system. Uh, they were removed from the market in 1991 uh, and further studies were done with a select group of physicians. We were still able to use silicone implants on our breast cancer reconstruction patients, which is a little bit of a, contra a contradiction in what the purpose of removing them from the market was. Uh, as of 2006, they are back on the market and have uh, really taken over a large market share at this point. All the disease processes that we thought might be associated with them, whether it was lupus, uh, fibromyalgia, irritable bowel, all these autoimmune diseases, uh, were found to be an age overlap where women who were in the market for breast augmentation at that age group is also the age group where a lot of those autoimmune diseases start to show up.